four months ago I got an ant colony. I gave them a new home and not much later the workers were helping the queen into the new nest. And by helping I mean dragging her out of the old nest. I bet she doesn't like that. I was right. The queen said, F that, I'm not living in this dump. She went back into the tube. And that is where she remains until the workers provide her with something that is worthy of a royal ass. Four months went by and the colony is still in the tube. So now it's time for me to renovate this terrarium. So they got another place to move into. But first, I gotta show you this awesome animated title. Whoa. And this is Cricket Jam. It looks disgusting. But it smells disgusting. If this video gets 50,000 likes, I will taste it. 50,000 likes, I will taste it. You guys destroyed the like button. So yeah, this is happening later in this video. But first, let's check on the colony. I'm not going slow on purpose to build up suspense. Yes, I am. This is the first time I've seen the whole colony in about 3 months. At first, I thought they were fine. But then I noticed something, the queen has a dent in her caster. I went back to check on old footage to see if it was always there. And yes, she had it from the start. That was a relief, because you guys know I'm an idiot. And usually I'm the cause of these things, but this must have happened during shipping. This also means that she has been able to survive and lay eggs for 4 months with this dent. So I'm hoping she's fine. I'm covering the nest back up for now. Because this is what the ants see when I uncover the nest. Not fun, right? So they send out poor Bob here to find out what the hell just happened. And yes, Bob is a girl. That is a perfectly good name for a girl. Please, don't name your daughter Bob. But if you do, get her this shirt. I promise I will make better merch soon. Nah, I'm kidding, it's gonna suck. Bob here is going to report back to the colony that the only thing she saw was an ugly dude filming her. I think it's time for me to start renovating the place. And I'll start with taking out everything. More ants are coming out to explore. And they're all wondering the same thing. Where the F is my stick. Don't worry, they're getting everything back later. But first, I need to take out the stones. Their sugar water and normal water has to go too. They're probably getting pretty pissed by now. But what would you be if they took away your stones? Now it's time to add some more Bodengrund. Sehr gut. First I wanted to try to add it with my tiny shovel. Attempt 1 failed. Ok, one more try. That was another fail, one more try. <sighs> I'm just gonna pour it in. I just have to be careful that I don't bury an ant. This one is already struggling. Let's fix it. A lot of you have been telling me that this is a back scratcher and not a tiny rake. But let me ask you this, why would a back scratcher be in a terrarium tool set? So I guess you guys have been using a terrarium tool as a back scratcher. I gave the ants this sand in the front so they have another place to build their nest. And if they build it here I can still observe them from two sides. And now the time has arrived to give them back their stuff. This one is already checking out the rock. Can't blame her because... Adding this rock too because... Okay, that was the last animated title, I promise. I'm adding these sticks and other stuff to increase the surface area the ants can explore. This will make them feel like they're in a natural environment. Look at it, if you didn't know this was terrarium, you would think this was just nature. I should really become an interior designer because that is some quality decoration. Giving them back their sugar and water. Because as a biologist I can tell you, ants are animals and they need food and water. This water tube also helps keep the terrarium a bit more humid. The decoration is done, but keep watching, I'm gonna feed the ants and after that feed myself and food. Why? These are fly larvae I am giving the ants, they love them. Like always, I'm struggling. One more. It didn't take long for the first ant to find the larvae. But I guess she wanted sugar first. 
Synchronized cleaning incoming. More and more ants are finding the larvae. But this one is still alive. And even though it's just a fly larvae, I feel bad for any animal that is suffering. So I unalive the larvae off screen. The ants are trying to chew off pieces of flesh. And they're gonna show off their extreme bite force. Pinching that flesh together as to take some serious jaws. And that brings me to the most important question of this video. Maybe even the most important question of your life. Would you rather fight one human sized ant? Or one billion ant sized humans? Give your answer and why you answered that in the comments. The ants are exploring the hill, but aren't starting to build a nest yet. So I decided to help them by poking some holes in the hill. I'm hoping they find these holes and see them as a good place to start their nest. I'm also covering the sides of the hill with this perfectly cut piece of cardboard. That way it is dark in the nest if they decided to build their tunnels here. And I can take away the cardboard if I want to see them. If they end up building their tunnels here, I'm looking for a more permanent solution. One that looks... not this shitty. And two days later, it finally happened. I can't believe you guys keep falling for this. The time has almost come to taste the jam. But first, I'm gonna give some to the ants. So they can test if it's safe for me to taste. Here comes one, let's see if she likes it. Apparently not, maybe it's just this ant that doesn't want it. Here is another one, but she doesn't seem to like it either. Maybe they're just not hungry. I'm testing this by also giving them a fruit fly. If they end up eating this, I'm gonna be pissed. Damn it. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look good for me that even the ants don't want to eat the ant food that I'm gonna taste. This one is struggling to get the fruit fly to the nest. Getting closer. She finally got to the nest. Now it's just a struggle to get it in there. Yeah, that's your own fault for filling the entrance with sand. Okay, it's time. I'll quit stalling. No, got to do something first. Yep, that's better. Here we go. Yeah, that looks yummy. Mm. The worst part of this is... I had to do this three times because I didn't film it right. Conclusion of this very scientific experiment. Cricket jam sucks. So far the ants haven't started building their new nest yet. But I'm hoping they do soon. Please click on the video in the end screen, that will help me a lot. First I want to thank all patrons and everyone that watched. Every new patron gets a spirit animal. Watch this video next. Thanks.